You'll be aware that there is quite a lot of concern in the creative industries, which is under your responsibility as Minister, around how artificial intelligence could impact upon the creative industries. Equity, for example, as a, as a union, um, are worried that copyright doesn't protect creatives against AI-generated reproductions of their likenesses or performances. Um, and as it becomes more mature, you know, that they're concerned they'll need greater protection. And there's also the issue, as you know, that's been in front of ministers about data mining and the potential, without permission or licensing, to take someone's unique creative work, normally protected by the copyright structure we have in this country, which underpins our creative industries and makes them so successful, that, that the government's proposal last year to permit data mining without any licensing uh, uh, in order for AI to you know, conduct its machine learning and so on was a big threat to our uh, creative industries and our copyright um, structure. Now you've been, I think, in discussions with George Freeman, your ministerial counterpart. How have those discussions gone about all of this? What's your current thinking on it? Um, have you talked to people like the music industry about it? Um, so, as you know, the uh, Intellectual Property Office is uh, something that comes within uh, Bayes' uh, scope, and uh, there was this consultation launched, which I think probably surprised um, the IPO in terms of the level of concern that was expressed in the creative industries, something that I listened to uh, um, very openly with some of the, my stakeholders in the creative industries and something that I've since raised with uh, George Freeman as the minister whose uh, who's remit includes the, uh, the IPO. Um, I, I'm, I'm pretty confident that uh, some of the uh, options that were looked at by the IPO to try and um, create a more permissive environment for AI in this space will not be taken forward. Um, but, you know, we're, we're sort of in a situation where I can't quite announce that.